Introducing iCares. The integrated clinical audit and review education system is a new feature built into Siren that provides paramedics with a tool to improve documentation standards by highlighting fields in the PCR which will create a more robust and complete report, ultimately improving patient care. What is iCares? It's a rule-based integration that highlights sections in the PCR that are relevant to the patient event with the goal of improving the quality of PCR documentation. The rule-based framework aligns with clinical practice guidelines and identifies sections which are relevant to each patient encounter. This is different from mandatory fields in the PCR. Data quality score simply advises paramedics that further action can be made to improve the PCR. The feature is located in the same tab as mandatories and is dynamically scoring PCRs as you enter information. iCARES works by providing a list of items where further actions can be completed to improve the quality score. The PCR can still be finalized without actioning the recommendations. Data quality rules cannot be overridden, so if they don't apply for some reason, they can be left out. Focus is on improving PCR quality for the patient event by guiding you to fill out additional details that provide value to the PCR. There are two sections, General Charting and Clinical Quality, and each rule has one of five possible weights assigned to each rule which determine the scoring algorithm. The scores will be identified with a color scale. The tool is only available for patient events and won't apply to community paramedic events secondary triage, or special events. There are two components as mentioned to the scoring system. The first one is general charting, which is non-clinical and applies to all events with a focus on capturing critical data such as patient demographics, billing details, and conveyance. The second component is common clinical, and these are applicable to most events as a matter of clinical best practice, such as primary surveys, medications, allergies, and vital signs. And there are a handful of clinical protocol rule sets that get triggered with specific scenarios, such as cardiac arrest, STEMI, or overdoses. After completing your PCR and actioning any mandatories, you will review the scoring items listed. Notably, most mandatory fields and general charting scores are mutually inclusive. If all the mandatories have been satisfied, then general charting most likely will reflect this with a positive score. The current score will be indicated simply by a color code. Red and yellow indicate the PCR has room for improvement, while green indicates an excellent level of completeness. As you progress through the list and make amendments, the color will change from red to yellow to green. Also listed is the weight that each data field carries in determining the overall score, with high and very high being the most important. With the clinical quality scores, they also apply to every call as a matter of clinical best practice such as medical history, medications, allergies, and vital signs. Additionally, 10 protocols have been included that will get triggered by specific scenarios, such as a provider's impression, and this will piggyback off common clinical rules. An example would be a cardiac arrest event, where additional rules will guide paramedics in completing all the pertinent clinical fields, such as AED, compressions, and ventilations. Here's a breakdown of the rules and how they align in each module. As mentioned, general charting and common clinical apply to all PCRs, and the clinical protocol rules will be added in certain situations. A complete list of the rules will be available on the internet and handbook. Here's a list of the 10 clinical protocol rules and each one has a unique priority. When there's a conflict, the rules of the higher priority protocol will be used. An example is if there are triggers for ECS STEMI and adult cardiac arrest in the same event. The call will be classified as an ACS STEMI and the clinical quality rules will use the STEMI protocol rule set. In the future, clinical and medical programs will look to build out more rules that align with our clinical quality performance indicators.
Clinical and Medical Programs aims to improve Siren Field user based on paramedics' feedback. If you have any suggestions or feedback for eye cares or Siren Field user in general, please send an email to paramedicqi at bcehs.ca.